from Zero FXB. Welcome to my unboxing of the Quantum SDR. In this video, I will connect it to the G90. Quantum SDR themselves have made several instructional videos on this and I will link them in the description. I highly recommend you watch them. And there's a very advanced and detailed instruction manual and I'm told there's a new manual coming out soon. Now this device will interface with many more radios than the G90 and it will, it will also interface via older radios if you know how to, you know, to make that connection. But I'll just keep it simple. I'm going to take it out of the box connect a couple of cables and add some power. As I learn the device, I'll be making more videos and I, I will attempt to connect it to every single radio that I've got that is suitable. Also, I'll be comparing it to the, the G-Sock device made by Zygu, but that will be in a separate video. So I've watched the progress of this device for quite a while now, and I've, I've been interested, uh, but eventually took the plunge. So in the box, you do get this sort of startup manual, let's call it. And it says here Quantum SDR. This is the new version, the M3 Plus, and I've got the TTL version. And you can see it's a, it's a very neat package and most of the sort of hardware is behind the screen there, as you can see. So I have read through this and it's got lots of basics in there. The manual is, is you know, there's, there's 30 pages there, I think, but don't be put off by that because it looks like setting it up initially is quite straightforward. So I wanted you to see how well it's packaged because, you know, I always think that it's, it's a good sign if, they, if a lot of care is put into the packaging to make sure the device arrives undamaged, I think that says a lot about the seller. There are additional cables you can buy. There's a six pin cable you can buy, um, but the ones that you need for the G90, and I'm pretty sure probably the KX3 do come in the box. You get this nice sort of suede style bag. Yeah, very nice. Easy to, to move this device around, very portable. Some protection there, but otherwise you've got the power cable. Okay, and I, of course, recommend that you uh, fuse that. I've got so many of these cables, and the voltage that is recommended says 7 to 17 DC. Two lots of 3.5 to 3.5 jacks there as well. Okay, so that's what's in the box. So let's take this out the bag, like so. It's a five inch screen. So for example, I've got a 3.5 inch screen hotspot here. And I'll just put that side by side. There you are. So it's a five inch screen there. We'll just look around the device. So you have the stylus there that's slipped in just here. And there is a knack to how you control this. You know, how you, you know, tap the screen to get the right functions. It isn't just tap, tap, tap. There is a gentle and a sliding motion. So that definitely needs to be learned. You can see there on the side, we've got the SMA connection there and that says RF in. So uh, we're gonna need an adapter there. Now, apparently these work standalone. Not really sure how that works because I haven't um, tried to, uh, to do anything yet really. Let's have a look at these connectors here. So it says there debug, RF in, it says quantum spectrum DS plus, DSP plus. You've got an audio jack there and it says CE. Turn it round. And on this side, IQ in, CAT, PC connection there, extension and 7 to 17 volts. Some holes there for cooling, I would say. And there your SDR, got some pins there. I'm sure that that, you know, is all part of the functionality. So, okay, let's um, add some power to this. And I think we'll let connect the IQ cable here to the IQ cable on the back of the G90. I was hoping for some better conditions, but not very good at all, is it? Usually, come the afternoon, it starts to pick up. Well, there's someone there, and they do advise that you turn the preamp on, which it is on at the moment. 
I'm running the 1.78 firmware, I'm sure. Let me just check, actually. I'll hold down the function. Yeah, the, uh, the I, I did backdate the firmware slightly, but it does say 1.78. I backdated it slightly because I'm using the, G, the GSOC and it was recommended. But you can see the, the base is 178 and then the head unit is 1.77. I might, you know, add the newer firmware as well and do some more tests with that as well. I will note that it does stand on its own. You can buy a 3D stand for it as well, but it will look, it just stands. And I think that's a really good thing. That's obviously you can just sit it on top of the, the actual device as well. There you go, you can sit it like that and then do your changes. Okay, let's start connecting cables. The first one we'll connect is gonna go into the IQ, the pink one there. And then the cable we just put in the back is gonna plug into the IQ, so the top one there, throw my hands get in the way but just here look okay just there I, it's marked IQ basically I'll just quickly get that in um, so that's in there the next one is going to go here the cat connector plug that into there all pushed in firmly but you've got to be careful when you're plugging into the head unit don't twist it and wiggle it and right and left because you will break it inside so just straight in and straight out and that's advised by the developer and then it says cat just there so we're just going to push that in push that in no power yet okay that's in solid now there are some other connectors there you've got pc i'm guessing that could be for interface and things like fta extension i think that cuts the audio for certain applications then you've got the 7 to 17 volt power which i've got ready here I want you to see it sort of boot up. It's quite hard to do this on camera, but we, we're going to do it more than once. But we're just going to put the power in quickly and then face it towards us. Try and get it to focus. It's quite bright. It's a very clear screen. And let it do its thing. And there you go. It's just booted up. Okay, now remember I've never used this, so I'm just, this is really just an unbox and quickly connect. So you can see that straight away it's all connected. Now remember I've got lots of LED lights in this shack, so uh, that's going to affect things here. But just connect it up, and what we're going to do is just quickly go up and down the bands. You can see that it's changing. 40 meters is always my, my liveliest band. And let's just scroll just here. You'll see that it's all scrolling. So I'm using this radio, but of course you can use this device. Watch this, I'll just tap here, look. just gentle tap and then I'll do, do 80. Okay, gentle tap, back to 40. I can see that when the conditions are, are good, and I mean, look at the activity that you're seeing on the scope of the G90. Now, I know that with the newest firmware, it is, it is actually better. So whether we control on the radio or the IQ, let's call it the quantum. And then you've got all these settings down here. We're going to learn them all one at a time. You've got zoom. VFOA fast, slip tune. No, I've not done any of this, but look, I'm just doing that. It looks like I'm, I might have to increase the gain slightly there. Just gentle tap here, RTTY. Got shortcuts for band here as well. Trace, AGCC, LSB is what we actually want. So that's a menu moot, slow. So I need some time to get to know this. The main thing about this video is you've got connected. And remember, I'll just show you the settings one last time. Just so we don't forget. And then we're going to come back with lots more videos. We've got the top one. 
that is marked as IQ and that goes all the way to the back. See that top cable there? It's marked as IQ on this head unit and it goes to the back, connects to, I, to the IQ and then you've got CAT here. The next one down marked as CAT and that's connecting to the lower connector here, CAT. And so straight away, out of the box, without any effort at all, yeah, we've got this beautiful, and it is a beautiful screen. It looks way better in real life than it does um, on, on my phone camera, which is all this is. Um, it's, it's crystal clear. Uh, so let's go back to the mode. Just tap here. As I was tapping... Member band and then watch. Apparently, you Look at that, it changes here. That's funky, I didn't even know it did that. This is good. I definitely like it, of course. I mean, look at the screen you normally get. And don't forget, this interface is with lots of radios. I've got a lot to learn here. What's the zoom? So you zoom in. It speaks for itself really, doesn't it? Or zoom out. Completely lost in this now. <laughs> How did I get to that? VFO A and B. Bands. Does that say? Dial offset. Oh yeah, we did that earlier, didn't we? Master. Slave. Oh yeah, he said about that. Slave. Oh. What's that other one? It's great fun playing around. I mean, you can see why the manual is a big manual. AGC, let's turn it down. DSP. Noise reduction, you can adjust that. Auto notch. RIT. I recognize this interface from the RS918 that I've got, including the menu, which I have muted, I think. Show. So there is a video showing you how to use this menu. Go here. There you go. I did watch it, honest. 
make your adjustments and then hide yeah that, that will take a bit of getting used to I'll watch the video I oh, see so swipe like that was it Do that again show I'm not don't press hard just learn how to use the system so that's enough for now I think we'll come back and learn some more bye for now